What's up, this is Karis Levert, and you're watching First Time with Slim. First time I dunked was a uh, junior year in high school. I think I was 17, 16, 17 years old. Uh, it was practice, um, and it was kind of like a sneak dunk. It wasn't like a real dunk. First poster dunk was um, AAU going into my senior year. Uh, it was like on a, on a fast break. Um, it was like a one-on-one, -on -one, and I kind of just went up, and I, th I feel like I closed my eyes because I don't even really remember what happened. Um, and it was an N1. That was like my first in-game dunk was a poster. Probably my rookie year was the first time I uh, purchased the watch. Um, and I think I had on, it was for a game. It was for a game, but I was injured, so I had to obviously wear a suit. I think I had on some jeans, some dark denim jeans. Um, I kept it simple, I had a white tee on, and then I had maybe a, um, a black suit jacket. And I think it was like a, it was a gold watch. I don't know. So it was super clean. I feel like it uh, it completes the fit. You know, I like accessories for sure. You know, hats, watches, um, things like that. I feel like, you know, they complete the outfit. It might have been uh, probably some shoes. It was probably some sneakers for sure, some Jordans. Yeah, what's your favorite? Favorite Jordans are um, probably Jordan 1s or uh, Jordan 4s for sure. First big sneaker purchase was probably um, some off-white ones for sure. Like when the off-whites first started coming out, uh, I had to get it. I think it was the pair of the red ones. Um, I think that was probably the biggest biggest sneaker purchase. It's huge for me because I've always, you know, liked sneakers and things like that, but I never really had the money to go get them. Um, so when I, I got a little bit of money I, and I spent them on the sneakers, I was, I was proud of them. I think I got some, uh, I got some Saint Laurent shoes. Um, my, uh, I think the summer going into my rookie year, uh, and I was super excited about them. I, I think I only wore them like two or three times. I don't even know where they are now. It was, um, it was much before I got to the NBA. It was probably uh, maybe high school or college, but I never really, like I said, I never really had the money to, to um, spend on it. So. Uh, you know, when I got to the NBA and I had a little bit more money, I started to, you know, find my look a little bit more and uh, splurge a little bit in that aspect. First NBA road trip, um, I think we had a long LA trip. It was like 20 some days my rookie year. Um, I just threw a whole bunch of white tees in the bag. Um, went to the store, grabbed a whole bunch of drawers, socks, all of that. And then um, packed a couple suits, couple hoodies and stuff like that. And uh, I was good, I was pretty good. And then from there, I kind of got a little bit better at it. Honestly, um, I wait till the last minute to pack. So it's, it's kind of hectic. I wait till like the morning that we're leaving. Um, but I'm pretty I'm pretty good at it now. We travel, we travel a lot. So um, it's not something that is really, uh, you know, nerve wracking for me anymore. First time was um, probably this pep rally. I don't know, this pep rally my senior year, we were getting introduced. We were getting introduced in front of the school. And um, I was the last name. And uh, Chad Nelson, one of my close friends, he, uh, <laughs> instead of saying my name, he just said Kevin Durant. <laughs> and I think ever since then, it kind of just stuck on baby Durant name. But you know, that was my favorite player growing up. You know, him along with, uh, you know, D-Wade, AI, um, Kobe, guys like that. Um, and then to you know kind of build a relationship with them the first couple years in the league and then now being on the same team is crazy for sure now with him doing his rehab each and every day um it's inspiring to see you know obviously it's super tough for him not playing in games and stuff like that but the way he attacks his rehab each and every day is is uh is a great sight to see for sure first time i met Kyrie um was probably the day he signed i played against him obviously for the past couple of years but um first time I met him was this summer for sure. Kyrie's like a big brother. Um, you know, he, uh, I talk to him probably pretty much every day now, even though he, you know, he's going through, uh, you know, his shoulder uh, injury and things like that. But, you know, Kyrie's a, he's a great guy, great teammate, um, really knows a lot about the game. Um, and we talk a lot about, you know, stuff all outside of basketball, off the court as well. Um, and he's one of those guys who I definitely grew really close to. First time I met Taco was um, preschool or kindergarten. 
we went to the same private school, Southeast Christian Academy. Um, and then from there, our relationship grew. He's actually in the same grade as my little brother. Um, so they were, they were closer. Um, you know, we played on the same high school basketball team and football team at one point. So uh, we became pretty close over the years. First time I saw Spike play basketball was uh, probably a highlight tape on YouTube. Um, just looking up the guys I'm coming to school with. And my class was pretty good. I came in with uh, Nick Stauskas, Spike, obviously, Glenn Robinson, and uh, Mitch McGarry. So I'm looking up all those guys. I've heard of, obviously, Glenn and Mitch before. And uh, I looked up Nick, I'm like, oh, he's nice. And I looked up Spike, I'm like, who is this? <laughs> I've never heard of him before. Um, but me and Spike became really close over the years. Uh, I actually just talked to Spike, you know, yesterday he called me after the game. Um, but I try to talk to him, you know, once a week, once a month or so. Um, but you know, Spike's, Spike's a great guy. First Brooklyn experience was, um, I did a shoot, I think it was with Slam, maybe uh, my rookie year. Um, we kind of walked around Brooklyn, they showed me some spots. Um, went to like this pizza spot, it was really cool. Um, and I kind of got acclimated with like the people and the culture and everything like that. I used to I used to ride the subway a little bit like my rookie year. Um, I got lost on it one time, ended up in like Queens, and then after that I was, I was done with it. Ooh, I don't know if I can say this on okay. camera. <laughs> First rookie duties. Um, I mean, I just had to carry like the bags and stuff like that. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't too serious, honestly. Um, I had good vets. I had, um, you know, Randy Foy, uh, Trevor Booker, Brook Lopez. Um, they honestly didn't make me do a lot of stuff. I had to carry the cards, the poker chips, and stuff like that. But it wasn't. It wasn't too much. 